stars and the solar system learning about sun moon and stars sanjana and sanju visited their grandparents village during summer holidays after dinner they went on to the roof of the house it was a clear cloudless night they were surprised to see a large number of bright stars in the sky they had never seen such a beautiful scene in their city sanjana wondered why the village sky was so different from the night sky in big cities her grandfather explained that due to bright light smoke and dust sky in big cities is rarely clear night sky watching can be a fascinating experience at a place where there are no bright lights and the atmosphere is clear look at the sky on a dark clear night you see the entire sky dotted with countless stars some bright and some not so bright observe them carefully do all of them appear to twinkle do you find any star like object which does not twinkle the objects which do not twinkle are planets The moon is the brightest object in the night sky. The stars, the planets, the moon and many other objects in the sky are called celestial objects. The moon. The moon changes its shape every day. The day on which the whole disk of the moon is visible is known as the full moon day. Thereafter, every night the size of the bright part of the moon appears to become thinner and thinner. On the 15th day, the moon is not visible. This day is known as the new moon day the next day only a small portion of the moon appears in the sky this is known as the crescent moon the various shapes of the bright part of the moon as seen during a month are called phases of the moon Let us try to understand why phases of the moon occur. The moon does not produce its own light whereas the sun and other stars do. We see the moon because the sunlight falling on it gets reflected towards us. We therefore see only that part of the moon from which the light of the sun is reflected towards us remember remember that the moon revolves around the earth the earth along with the moon revolve around the sun the moon completes one rotation on its axis as it completes one revolution around the earth the moon's surface the moon is a fascinating object for poets and storytellers but when astronauts landed on the moon they found that the moon's surface is dusty and barren there are many craters of different sizes it also has a large number of steep and high mountains some of these are as high as the highest mountains 
on the earth. The moon has no atmosphere. It has no water, therefore no life can exist on the moon. Information On July 21, 1969, the American astronaut Neil Armstrong landed on the moon for the first time, followed by Edwin Aldrin. The phases of the moon occur because we can see only that part of the moon which reflects the light of the sun towards us. That is all in this topic. Let us learn about stars in our next topic.